Lord be with you and with your spirit. In the name of the Father, and let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. O oh, send out thy light and thy truth, that they may lead me and bring me unto thy holy hill, and to thy dwelling. Thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Dearly beloved brethren, the scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble and contrite, lowly, penitent, and obedient heart to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by his infinite goodness and mercy, and although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet oft we chiefly so to do, and we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary as well for the body and the soul. Wherefore, I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and a humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying our general confession. And if you're following along, it's page 6 in the Book of Common Prayer, 1928. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. <coughs> Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And to grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Because you are with me, and this morning, this prayer service, is for the purposes of everyone to follow along, including security guards, police officers, Act 235 holders, corrections officers. We're going to do the entire absolution instead of the Trinity 21 absolution, as if I were alone, but I'm not, I'm with you. Almighty God the Father, and it's on page seven, the Book of Common Prayer, Almighty God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all those who truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Join in me with the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, 
and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Please stand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Psalm 95 is our canticle. It is Venite Exultimus Domino, and that's the name of it, and as a matter of fact, you can stand and let's sing that together, or say that together. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King, above all gods. In his hands are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, that the whole earth Stand in awe of him, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, and with righteousness to judge the world and the peoples with his truth. Please remain standing for our psalm in the Book of Common Prayer. You can find Psalm 28 in our Psalter. It's going to be on page 373, Ate Domine. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my strength. Think no scorn of me, lest if thou make as thou though hearest not, I become like him, that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my humble petitions when I cry unto thee, when I hold up my hands towards the mercy seat of thy holy temple. O oh, pluck me not away, neither destroy me with the ungodly and wicked doers which speak friendly to their neighbors, but imagine mischief in their hearts. Reward them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their own inventions. Recompense them after the work of their hands. Pay them that they have deserved. For they regard not in their mind the works of the Lord nor the operation of his hands. Therefore shall he break them down, and not build them up. Praised be the Lord, for he hath heard the voice of any of my humble petitions. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart hath trusted in him, and I am helping. Therefore my heart danceth with joy, and in my song will I praise him. The Lord is my strength, and he is the wholesome defense of his anointed. O save thy people and give thy blessing unto thine inheritance, feed them and set them up forever. Thanks be to God. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please sit. Our first lesson is the seventh chapter book of Isaiah. Won't you join with me in your Bible? The sign of Emmanuel. And it came to pass in the days of Ahaz, the son of Jotham, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, that Rezin, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Ramalia, king of Israel, went up toward Jerusalem to war against it, but could not prevail against it. And it was Told the house of David, saying, Syria is confederate with Ephraim, and his heart was moved, and the heart of his people, as the trees of the wood are moved with the wind. Then said the Lord unto Isaiah, Go forth now to meet Ahab. Thou and Shear Jashub, thy son, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool, in the highway of the fuller's field. 
and say unto him, Take heed and be quiet, fear not. Neither be faint-hearted for the two tails of these smoking firebrands, for the fierce anger of Rezin with Syria and the son of Ramalia, because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Ramalia have taken evil counsel against thee, saying, Let us go up against Judah and vex it, and let us make a breach therein for us, and set a king in the midst of even the son of Tabeel. Thus saith the Lord, It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. For the head of Syria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is Rezin. And within three score and five years shall Ephraim be broken. At the head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is Ramalia's son. If ye will not believe, surely ye shall not be established. So endeth our first lesson. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Our canticle. To Deum Lademus, we praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee, all angels, cry aloud the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee, cherubim and seraphim, continually do cry, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth, are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty, thine adorable true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the comforter. Thou art the king of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting son of the father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst humble thyself to be born a virgin. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day, we magnify thee and we worship thy name ever world without end vouchsafe O lord to keep us this day without sin O lord have mercy upon us have mercy upon us O lord let thy mercy be upon us as our trust is in thee O lord in thee have i trusted let me never be confounded yes the lord is great Please sit. Our second lesson is from the second chapter in the New Testament, the second chapter of St. Mark. Let us begin on line 13, verse 13. Matthew was called the great evangelist who was called. He wrote the first uh, he wrote the second book in the Bible, as listed. Matthew called, and he went forth again by the seaside, and all the multitude resorted unto him. And he taught them, Jesus did. And as Jesus passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting at the receipt of custom, and said unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. And it came to pass that as Jesus sat at meat at his house, Many publicans and sinners sat also together with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many, and they followed him. And when the scribes and Pharisees saw him eat with publicans and sinners, they said unto his disciples, How is it that he sitteth and he eats with publicans and sinners, drinketh with them, eateth with them? When Jesus heard it, he said unto them, they that are whole have no need of the physician. But they that are sick, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And the disciples of John and of the Pharisees used to fast. And they said unto him, 
Why do the disciples of John and the Pharisees fast, but thy disciples fast not? And Jesus said unto them, Can the children of the bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. For the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them, and then, then shall they fast in those days. No man also soweth a piece of new cloth on an old garment, else the new piece that filled it up taketh away from the old, Jesus says, and the rent is made worse. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine doth burst the bottles, and the wine is spilled, and the bottles will be martyred. The bottles will be marred, the bottles will be marred and destroyed, but new wine must be put into new bottles. So ended our second reading. Our jubilate Deo, please stand. Is our canticle next? Be O oh, be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Be ye sure that the Lord he is God, it is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and sheep of his pasture. O oh, go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Apostles' Creed, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. When you took your oath to become police officers, corrections officers, security guards, Act 235 guards, armed guards, National Guards. You gave your word to protect. Your word, not being God's word, was often not believed, and you were struck down by a report against you, maybe. Or you were overwhelmed and forces caused you to pick your battles, or in some people's words, chicken out. <clears throat> There's words in what we read today. I'm going to start with Psalm, Psalm 28. Psalm 28 is by a man who had every reason to be afraid. It was Saint David who would be the king. He had not only made many mistakes, including homicide, so that he could marry the wife of a man he had killed. But he also, and he repented terribly for that, he also had blood on his hands from battle, and uh, not just from that, but he regaled like a lot of young men in partying, and he had wives, numerous wives. Well, anyway, he had a terrible enemy in King Saul who wanted him dead. David was nothing but loyal to his, uh, his lieutenant, his sergeant, captain, whatever your force calls it in your life. And sometimes your word and your loyalty seems like it isn't good enough. Well, pray 
to God for strength. God will reward them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their own inventions when they are criminals, the perpetrators. This is not your world if you're a Christian. This is not your place if you follow God. The decision was handed down of the power from God to these officials and even the person writing reports against you, not the perpetrators. Although the devil is loose, his works are loose in this world. And it is, as Jesus said at the very end of his stay, during the 40 days when he came back, he said the devil is, being, is taking over this world. So anyway, we're not here. So let's go on when you feel so upset and tired. You don't want to go to work, or you do want to go to work, and you want to get revenge against the perpetrators or against your own kind. I was an Act 230. I am an Act 235 God. I mean, I was in situations I had to make decisions. I have to think on your feet in these roles. Family members of police officers, every day they're their brothers in blue would turn to drink, womanizing, and I was told my, my uncle was inspector of the bomb squad in New York City. Before that, he had his own task force as a deputy inspector over narcotics. He would worked in Serpico. He took over for Serpico's unit after Serpico went into exile. Anyway, that was in Coney Island, New York. There's a king in Judah, a general in Judah, a king in Judah that's about to go to battle. And he has these decisions to make uh, to go and mix it up. Uh, that is where you see a leader, um, your captain, your police chief, like going into battle with another country. It's not his jurisdiction, it's not his domain. So he disagrees, okay? Uh, you know your place, and your place is praying for God's strength. And God told him in Isaiah, it tells us, to hang back. And in time, these enemies of God will pay, because God will see to it. And that might not happen in your lifetime. That might not happen. Just be strong and do your job. And uh, I'm here, as other brothers are, to talk to in the spirit of faith, not in revenge, okay, not in getting things together so that you can make things worse for yourself. So all those people were going to descend on him. We're going to descend on the king of Jerusalem, even the lost brother of uh, Ramali, the king of Israel, the northern kingdom, had even separated. You have a brother who went and turned against you? That's in God's hands. Not in yours to get revenge. So we need to be strong, and we are stronger by holding out. Thank you. Uh, this came from the heart. There are many. I have many stories I could share with you. As an Act 235 God, it's not my guard. It's not, did I say God? It's not my place. Not my place to bring them here because my stories are no better than your stories and I won't allow sympathy or anything for them. But I, I've been there and you are close to God when you are protecting somebody and giving God at the same time your forbearance and your faith. So keep the faith. You're amazing and you're incredible because you were made in the image of God and just because you are. <clears throat> Me too. Name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Please kneel, the Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. O Lord, O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. We're on page 16, and this needs to be said while kneeling. Of the Book of Common Prayer, O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O oh God, make our 
make clean our hearts within us and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Our collect for peace. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord and knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, and all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries to the might, of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings being ordered by thy governance may be righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our prayer for all in civil authority, including the President of the United States and our Governor. O Lord, our Governor, whose glory is in all the world, God our Governor, we command this nation to thy merciful care, that being guided by thy providence, we may dwell secure in thy peace. Grant to Joseph Biden President of the United States and all in authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do thy will. Fill them with the love and righteousness and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve this people in thy fear. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee, and the Holy Ghost, our God, world without end. Amen. A prayer for the clergy and people. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy and upon the congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men that thou wouldest be pleased to make thy ways known unto them thy saving health unto all nations more especially we pray for thy holy church universal that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit that all who profess and call themselves christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith and unity of spirit in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind. All those whose shifts are very hard. Those of your shifts, those of people that you know, working as a police officer, correction officer, Security Guard, Act 235 Guard, National Guardsman, or woman, etc. For Barney, who is cancer, father and husband, Barney. For the family of Michael Hitchborn. This being Advent and the first week of Advent, enjoying our suffering with our realization that this commemorates the birth of our Savior and, and, and our reward for being worshipful, faithful Christians is coming. That it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Our general thanksgiving is on page 19 of the 1928 Book of Common Prayer. Say it with me, if you have it. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men, particularly to those who desire now to offer up their praises and thanksgiving for thy late mercies mercies vouchsafed unto them.
We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, but giving by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. I'd like to include a prayer for children on page 43. Those who have children with spouses and former spouses and babysitters during your shifts especially notwithstanding. Page 43. O Lord Jesus Christ who doth embrace children with the arms of thy mercy and dost make them living members of thy church. Give them grace, we pray thee, to stand fast in thy faith, to obey thy word, and to abide in thy love. That being made strong by thy Holy Spirit, they may resist temptation and overcome evil, and may rejoice in the life that now is, and dwell with thee in the life that is to come through thy merits, O merciful Savior, who with the Father and the Holy Ghost livest and reignest one God, world without end. Amen prayer for social justice written in 1928 with that title for social justice on page 44 of the 1928 book of common prayer almighty god who has created man in thine own image grant us grace fearlessly to contend against evil and to make no peace with oppression and that we may reverently use our freedom help us to employ it in the maintenance of justice among them and nations to the glory of thy holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For a person under affliction, page 45. O merciful God and heavenly Father, who hast taught us in thy holy word, that thou dost not willfully afflict or grieve the children of men, look with pity we beseech thee upon the sorrows of thy servant, for whom our prayers are offered. Remember him, O Lord, in mercy. Endure his soul with patience. Comfort him with a sense of thy goodness. Lift up thy countenance upon him and give him peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us also include a prayer for going out into the night. going out into the night. A collect for aid against perils. That's on page 31 and in the evening prayer. Some of you will be watching this in the evening. So we'll say that. It's a collect for aid against perils. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at the time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting in this world knowledge of thy truth and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Here endeth the order of morning prayer. Amen.